Hey, what's up guys? My name is Alex Chung and today we're talking about SD cards for the Canon 5D Mark IV. Now, everyone knows that the Mark IV eats up storage when you're shooting video. In 4K recording, you're getting bit rates of up to 500 megabits per second, which are absolutely massive. So today I'm giving you the best SD card option when you're shooting 4K video. I'm gonna skip over CF cards because they're really expensive and they're quickly getting outdated and you can get the same amount of storage on an SD card for much cheaper. Now for the storage size of the SD card, I personally recommend you getting a single 256 gigabyte memory card. And that'll give you about an hour of 4K filming. I usually tend to shoot a lot of footage so I burn through 256 gigabytes pretty fast. But if you're not planning to shoot as much footage as I do, then you can probably save some money and get a single 128 gigabyte memory card. I've got some links down below for you to compare the two storage sizes and compare their prices. The SD card that I'm using right now is SanDisk's Extreme Pro 256 gigabyte card. I've got the link in the description down below for you to check out the exact version that I'm using. If you simply just search it on Amazon, you're gonna get a whole bunch of similar looking SD cards from SanDisk that might not actually work for 4K recording on the 5D. This card has a write speed of 90 megabits per second, which is over the minimum requirements of 60 megabits per second for the 5D. I've had zero issues capturing 4K footage on these SanDisk cards. However, on slower cards, you get an error message that says you can't continue recording because the card is simply too slow to keep writing the information in there. If you get a 64 gigabyte card, you only get 15 minutes of 4K recording time, which for me isn't quite enough. However, if you don't plan on shooting a lot of 4K footage, then probably the 64 card would be good enough for you. I recommend getting at least two SD cards so that you can continue shooting on the second one as you're transferring footage from the first card. I label mine A and B so I don't confuse myself on which one is which. This is by far the best and most affordable SD card option that I've found on Amazon. There might be companies that come out with new cards that offer faster write speeds and more storage, but they're gonna charge over $200 at least for a single 128 gigabyte card. So I would consider getting a couple of SanDisk Extremes today if you're considering getting some SD cards for your 5D. Again, go to the link down below for the exact SD card that I'm using because SanDisk has a couple of very similar looking ones that are different for 4K recording than mine. I hope this video helps you guys and if you liked it, please give it a thumbs up and be sure to subscribe to my channel and turn on the bell notification for future content. My name is Alex Chung and I'll see you later.